Hey everyone! Today I want to give you a little tour of how Google Sheets works in Dasheru. So uh, using our Sheets integration is a great way to get some of your offline data into Dasheru. Uh, I'm going to go through three of the insights that we have today. Um, the pie chart, the funnel insight, and the line chart. Not necessarily in that order. Um, so let's look at a few examples that I already have set up in a Google Sheet. So here I have a demo sheet um, in my fake e-commerce store. Uh, over the past or month, I have a um, list of visits and cart visits and purchases per day. These are all fake numbers um, that uh, Google automatically randomized for me. Thank you, Google. On the second tab, I have a conversion rate um, where I'm calculating the totals of those visits, purchases, and um, calculating out a conversion percentage. And then lastly, I have total number items sold broken out by what exactly it is that we sell. So let's head back to Dasheru and start plugging some of this stuff in. So I've set up a placeholder dashboard for our e-commerce performance. Um, let's go ahead and add some insights from here. Just click on the Add Insights. You'll get our insight library. We're interested in the Google Sheets. So from here, um, let's go down and find our line chart insight. Click next. I've already have my account connected to Dasheru, so we can continue from here and install our insight on our dashboard. Now uh, we need to configure our insight, and this is a little bit different than just plug and play that you're used to with um, connecting Twitter or Facebook or some of the other um, providers that we connect with. Um, there's a little bit of setup involved, so I'll walk you through that really quick. So here it uh, knows we selected the line chart insight. Um, we want to um, select our spreadsheet, so let's click on here. We'll find our spreadsheet. It was called Demo Sheet. There it is. Uh, the sheet I'm interested in is the um, first sheet in that called the Daily Metrics. So here we get to pick our X axis and our Y axis. So uh, I don't remember what these were offhand, so let me just pop right over. Um, let's go back to our daily metrics and uh, let's track purchases. So our purchases is in column D, and we want to track that by date, which is in column A. So our X axis, we want to look at our date here, right? This goes X axis goes across, Y axis goes up and down. So that was column A. Let's get a preview. Exactly right. And column D. There it goes. Our purchases. We are going to ignore our column headers here. And let's put them in here. So and let's do shop. Give it a name. And let's connect. There you have it, a nice line chart of our purchases by date. Pretty nifty. You can see this is random data, so any normal store would not want this wildly exciting chart to be happening. We'd want to see a more leveled out purchase conversion. So let's move on, let's add the next. So another um, really cool insight is the funnel insight. So once again, we want to select our demo sheet, our conversion. Uh, here is a little bit different. We want to select which columns or range of columns are our labels and which are our values. So let's go in and have another quick look in our conversion sheet. So our labels are column A and our values are column B. If we wanted to track the percentages, we would say column C, which might be nice. Maybe we'll do both of these. I'll show you how to do that. So let's do A, B to start. So labels are column A and B. Actually, before I do that, I want to point out something. There's no value in B 
five here. So that might cause a little bit of weirdness in our funnel because we will have four labels but only values for three of them. So let's use a range here instead. Let's do A2 through A4 and the same B2 through B4. there we go and we'll leave these blank for now this we'll call our error funnel that's a nice looking funnel how many visits we've had how many cart visits from that and purchases so we can run that again to give us the percentages right next to it And so same sheet. All right, there's our percentage conversion. So we can put these up next to each other and get a sense of our traffic converts 13% to cart visits and 36 of those convert to purchases. Pretty neat. So there's one more I want to show you. Let's head back into our insights. We want to select our Pi insight. Let's add that to our dashboard. Once again, simple setup. Demo sheet. We want to select our item sold. Now here our labels are third tab in here. Uh, range of A2 through A6 and B2 through B6. There you have it. Nice breakdown of our shop. Let's move this around so it's a little more pretty on the eyes. There we go. Look at our conversion, the top level. How many purchases by day? Just kind of interesting. You see if you had a down day or an up day. And then overall, what uh, our most popular items are. Uh, doodads and contraptions are kind of neck and neck here. I think uh, I'm going to go buy myself some contraptions right now.